Yes, ma'am, actually a busy day for you, but let's move on and shift focus to Jubilant Farmova. The company has decided to close manufacturing operations of a formulation facility in USA. The stock is doing well. Ekta is here to tell us more. Ekta, what's exciting the stock right now? Well, the company has decided to close their manufacturing operations in the formulation facility in Maryland in, US, in the U.S. Uh, it is expected to stop manufacturing in June of 2024. Now, uh, the subsidy in the U.S. will continue sales and manufacturing operations for the U.S. markets. Uh, remember, this facility has the ability to manufacture around 1.5 billion doses. Now, the reason for taking this step is because the company has been facing significant pricing pressure which resulted in significant losses FY22 onwards. So the company is changing its business model from in-house manufacturing to outsource manufacturing for the US. Also separately, their Rurki facilities uh, status has changed to voluntary action indicated and that means that that will probably help exports to increase to the US as well. As of now, that particular facility is only exporting one product to the US market and they're probably expected to see more launches coming in from there. Uh, separately, they will also explore options in terms of how they want to monetize or use that particular land where the facility was and the buildings and the machine machinery in the US. So there are a couple of triggers. The fact that maybe margins should improve because they are uh, stopping manufacturing, they are outsourcing to CDMOs in the US and hence that would be margin, probably margin accretive. And uh, separately, they would probably uh, would you know, the rule key facilities expected to pick up sales. Thank you so much, Ekta, for that. So, margin improvement along with some relief coming in from the US FDA. Uh, but the next stock.